Hi, it's Melissa here. And in this episode of Ready to Go, we'll discover 10 amazing sites in the land of fire and ice. Iceland is the westernmost European country and sits halfway between Greenland and Norway. It was a short four and a half hour flight from Montreal and we took five days to explore its western and southern coasts by car, with our hotel home base being in Reykjavik. In addition to exploring the capital city, we did daily road trips to visit some of Iceland's most unbelievable natural wonders from the captivating area known as the Golden Circle, to volcanic areas, amazing waterfalls, black sand beaches, and of course, the Blue Lagoon. Here are my 10 most memorable discoveries. Stay tuned as at the end of this video, I'll share details on how you can book some amazing excursions to explore this part of the world. If you like this video, don't be shy and please give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or additional info for travelers to Iceland, please write those up in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Iceland is a unique and stunningly beautiful island country known for its dramatic landscapes and geothermal activity. The official language is Icelandic and throughout this video, big disclaimer, there is a strong chance I may mispronounce some of the location names. The country is characterized by a diverse terrain, including glaciers, volcanoes, lava fields, fjords, waterfalls, and highland plateaus. Outdoor activities like hiking, horseback riding, and glacier exploration are popular among tourists. Iceland is best visited by road tripping, with many travelers opting for camper vans and even vehicles with off-road capabilities to visit its more rugged inland areas. Number 1. Reykjavik Reykjavik is the capital and largest city of Iceland. It is in the southwestern part of the country, along the coastline overlooking the North Atlantic Ocean. Reykjavik has a population of 140,000 people, making it the most populous city in Iceland and containing 50% of the country's total population. The city is a vibrant cultural hub with numerous museums, galleries, theaters, and music venues, including the unique Harpa Concert Hall. Reykjavik is often the starting point for travelers exploring Iceland's natural wonders and we spent our first day on a walking tour visiting some key spots in the city. The iconic church of Halgrim Skirkja is one of Reykjavik's most recognizable landmarks, known for its unique architecture and panoramic views from its tower. Iceland's national parliament, the Althingi, is also located in Reykjavik. In terms of food, Icelandic cuisine puts emphasis on fresh seafood, lamb, and dairy products. I very much became a fan of their yogurt called skier. Given Iceland's northern latitude, daylight is very minimal during the winter months, going down to only 4 hours and 24 minutes of daylight in December. For this reason, houses and buildings have been designed to be very colorful when lit up by streetlights during the long winter nights. The Golden Circle is one of Iceland's most popular tourist routes known for its stunning natural attractions. The four key attractions along the Golden Circle include Thingvellir National Park, the Geyser Geothermal Area, Golfus Waterfall, and the Carid Crater. Discovery number two, Thingvellir National Park. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is geologically unique as it sits on the boundary between the North American and Eurasian tectonic plate. We actually got to walk between these plates in the Almanagia Gorge. The park is surrounded by beautiful scenery including lakes and cliffs. Number 3 Geyser Geothermal Area Bucket List Item Alert This geothermal field is home to several hot springs and geysers, with Stroker being the most famous. It erupts approximately every 5 to 10 minutes, shooting hot water and steam into the air. The area is named after the Great Geyser, which used to erupt more spectacularly in the past, but is now mostly dormant. 
Number four, Golfoss Waterfall. Known as the Golden Falls, Golfoss is one of Iceland's most powerful waterfalls. It plunges into a deep canyon formed by the Hivita River. Number five, Carid Volcanic Crater. Carid is a unique volcanic crater that is believed to have formed around 3,000 years ago during a volcanic eruption. Unlike many volcanic craters, Carid did not result from a massive explosion. Instead, it formed when the magma chamber beneath the surface emptied, causing the land above it to collapse into the empty chamber. What sets Carid apart is its unique appearance. The caldera is filled with a small, vivid blue-green lake. The contrast between the red volcanic rock, the greenish water, and the surrounding landscape is really a sight to behold. Visitors can park their vehicles close by to go hike its perimeter and get a great photo op when descending into the crater to get a closer look at the lake and its surroundings. Number 6. Helgafell, the Holy Mountain Helgafell is a small picturesque hill located on the Snæfellsnes Peninsula in western Iceland. It holds historical and cultural significance in Icelandic folklore and history. It is believed to be a sacred and holy place in the Old Norse religion. According to the sagas of the Icelanders, anyone who climbed Helgafell three times without uttering a word along the way could make a wish at the top and it would be granted. A well-maintained hiking trail leads to the summit, making it a very easy climb. The hill offers breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. The weather in this region can be very unpredictable, so it's advisable to dress appropriately wearing many layers. On this day, as you can see, it was unbelievably windy. Discovery number seven, Reykjadalur. Reykjadalur, which translates to Steam Valley, is located in southwestern Iceland, just a 45-minute drive from Reykjavik. This geothermal hike offers visitors the opportunity to experience stunning natural landscapes and relax in naturally heated hot springs at the top of the hike. The hike takes you through a picturesque valley surrounded by mountains, lush green hillsides, and steaming hot springs. So as you can see, they call this steam valley for a reason. So the water that flows in this river is hot and then people bathe at the top. I'm going to go check that out. The, the scenery is both otherworldly and breathtaking. The trail is moderately easy and suitable for hikers of all levels, including families with children. The hike typically takes one and a half to two hours each way. As you hike along the trail, you'll come across several hot springs of varying temperatures. The water in these springs is warm due to the geothermal activity in the area, making it a unique and relaxing experience. Discovery number eight, black sand beaches. Vicar Fiara, also known as Vic Beach, and Rainis Fiara are two stunning black sand beaches located near the small coastal village of Vic in southern Iceland. These beaches are some of Iceland's most iconic and picturesque natural attractions. The most distinctive feature of these beaches is their jet black volcanic sand, which is created from the erosion of basalt cliffs and lava rock formations. This stark contrast between the dark sand and the surrounding rugged terrain creates a captivating and otherworldly atmosphere. You almost feel like you're on another planet. Along the shoreline, you can find impressive basalt columns, which are rock formations created by the cooling of volcanic lava. Just off the coast are the sea stacks, towering rock formations that rise from the sea. Legend has it that these stacks were once trolls who were turned to stone when they were caught in the morning sun. Remember that while these beaches are a beautiful destination, it's essential to exercise caution and adhere to safety guidelines when visiting, especially near the water due to the potentially dangerous waves. Vic Village, located nearby, provides tourist facilities such as accommodations, restaurants, and shops. Vic Beach and Renis Fiera are easily accessible by car from Reykjavik, about a two and a half hour drive along the southern coast. That's a pretty insane black sand beach. Number nine, an iconic waterfall. 
Seljalandsfoss is one of Iceland's most impressive waterfalls. It's located along the famous Ring Road on the southern coast of Iceland, approximately 120 kilometers from the capital city of Reykjavik. The waterfall is 60 meters tall, making it an impressive natural attraction. This is what you call up close and personal, folks. It's really close. And we're getting lost in this. What sets Selja Landsfoss apart from many other waterfalls is the fact that you can actually walk behind it. Behind the waterfall. I always think these things are so exciting. And now I'm wet and I'm freezing cold. But it's okay, it's really fun. Look, I'm behind the waterfall. There is a parking area near the falls where you'll also find restroom facilities, a shop, and a small cafe nearby. It's advisable to wear waterproof clothing and sturdy footwear when visiting, especially if you plan to walk behind the waterfall. This region offers several other natural wonders, including Skogafoss, another impressive waterfall. Skogafoss waterfall. Very famous. It down into this riverbed and these are volcanic rocks. Number 10, the Blue Lagoon. If you're a first time visitor to Iceland, no visit would be complete without experiencing the Blue Lagoon. It's conveniently situated close to Keflavik International Airport, making it a popular stop for travelers arriving or departing from Iceland. The Blue Lagoon is not a naturally occurring hot spring, but rather a man-made geothermal spa. The water in the lagoon is heated naturally by the Earth's geothermal activity and is a byproduct of the nearby power plant where superheated water is harnessed to generate electricity and hot water for heating homes in the area. The water in the Blue Lagoon maintains a consistently warm temperature of 37 to 39 degrees Celsius year-round. Its striking blue color is due to its high silica content, which reflects sunlight in a unique way. The minerals and algae in the water are believed to have therapeutic properties, and the silica mud found on the lagoon's bottom is often used as a natural skincare treatment. The Blue Lagoon Complex offers a range of facilities for visitors, including changing rooms, showers, a cafe, a restaurant, and a shop selling skincare products made from the lagoon's ingredients. Due to its popularity, it's advisable to book tickets and spa reservations for the Blue Lagoon in advance, especially during peak tourist seasons. Now, as promised, if you're planning a trip to Iceland and want to enjoy these attractions and many more via booked excursions, I'm including links in the description below for six high highly rated excursions from Viator. These include tours for most of the 10 discoveries we discussed today. I use Viator regularly to book excursions all around the world. They provide great value and I've really never had a bad experience using them. So just click on the links below to check these out. I really hope you learned something new today and that you get to visit this unbelievably scenic country. To make sure you never miss out on new content, please click that subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you are always ready to go.